Hello, welcome to my kitchen here at Rockfish. Today we're making a super simple dessert or breakfast dessert. They kind of turn out like a cream cheese type Danish. I love to cook and I love to bake, but sometimes I just don't want to do all those dishes and I don't want to put all that much effort into it. So this is one of those go-to things. It comes together really quick if you're in a pinch then you need to bring a dessert or something to a party or something like that. So these are called cream cheese squares and they are made with two packages of crescent rolls, a block of cream cheese, some cinnamon and some sugar and some vanilla. You can top it, we top it with the cinnamon and sugar mixture. You can also add in pecans if you want to on top of that. And it bakes at 350 for only 20 to 25 minutes and then it is done and it is ready. So let me show you how quick and simple this comes together. This came from a uh, cookbook that I was given when we got married. It's from Robert's family. Uh, a bunch of the ladies got together and put all of their uh, recipes together in here. So I think it's super sweet and I've made a bunch of stuff out of here. But this comes from that. So here we go. All you need is a block of cream cheese. You put this into a bowl. I make these a lot in the winter time and fall. Around the holidays, I may send this one to my husband's work, we'll see. If we don't eat it first, because <laughs> it gets gone pretty quickly. So I'm actually, I'm gonna stop that for a moment and I'm gonna go ahead and open these crescent rolls. And we're gonna open one of them and we're gonna press it out into the bottom of like a casserole dish, like a nine by 13, somewhere around that size. You can probably get away going a little bigger, a little smaller. So I'm not greasing it or anything, just gonna unroll. And have you seen they make these crescent roll sheets now? I use these a lot for my breakfast casseroles. You could definitely go bigger. Look at my edges here. You could definitely go bigger than this dish. But you press it like down into the bottom. You don't need to go up the sides, just press it on the bottom. Yeah, so they have the crescent roll sheets now where they're not divided like this. And I make a breakfast casserole like this too. So, okay, next we need what the recipe calls for is five eighths of a cup of sugar. <laughs> so for us, that is one and a quarter cups of sugar. We're gonna add it to this cream cheese mixture here. Oops, and I'm gonna make a mess. So one and a quarter cups. I will put this recipe up over at our uh, website at rockfishfarm.com so it can stay there. And then we need some vanilla and how much a tea teaspoon of vanilla. My youngest daughter is over here with her own concoction of dried noodles and she likes to just stir it. So that's what you're hearing in the background. <laughs> all right, so for this, we're just gonna mix it until it all creams together. Probably best if you let that cream cheese get soft a little bit. I didn't. So we just mix it a little longer and it makes a little bit more of a mess. Okay, see, still comes together nice and creamy, just takes an extra minute or so. We are going to spoon this mixture right over top of this crescent roll. Okay, we're just going to spread it out. all the way to the edges. Next, got it all spread out. We're gonna open our other two crescent rolls. And we're gonna flatten this out. Right on the top. This one's kind of all falling apart. So, just going to lay it out across the top. It comes 
And then we're going to top this. This thing is all kinds of falling apart. We're going to top this with cinnamon and sugar. So you can mix up like a tablespoon of sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon. That's more work than I want to do right now. So I am just going to take <laughs> and take my tablespoon of sugar and just sprinkle it across the top. And then I don't even want a whole tablespoon, I don't think. And then I'm just going to take my cinnamon and sprinkle it. Oops. It's okay. Makes it better. Then we're going to bake this at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. While that bakes, we need to go let the horses out of their stalls. They usually stay in at night and then we feed them in the mornings and then we put them out in the pasture for the day. So we need to go get that done. You ready to go let the horses out? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. We're here. I know, sorry, I'm late. You ready to go out? All right, Holly's out. Let's go get Glimmer. You ready to go out, girl? Yeah. All right, let's roll. Seriously, Howdy. Raleigh, <laughs> did the dog get in your way? All right, bud, your turn. Hey, take him out. Let's go. We are back in perfect time because look what just came out of the oven. Look how good that looks. It's still warm. <laughs> so this is good either warm, definitely let it cool. I may not have let it cool enough, uh, but it's good warm, but it's also good just cold. You can store it in the refrigerator and um, it's good just cooled out just like that or room temperature, whatever you prefer but I've already got my coffee ready and I'm ready to dig into this thing. Feeling this thing's not making it out of my house. It's a little bit too warm still. Like when it's warm, you know the cream cheese is just gonna like fall out. But who can wait for that? You wanna play? You wanna play with Play-Doh? Let's see, it's probably gonna burn my mouth. Perfect. This is so good. Let me know if you try it. Thanks for joining me here on the farm today, and we will see you next time.